Hello, my name is Dr. Stanley Williams, and this is my beautiful wife, Dr. Bettina Williams. And we'd like to welcome you to the Empowering People International Broadcast. God has a word for you that I believe is going to bless your life and change your life for the better. We encourage you to position yourself, open your heart, and get ready to receive this awesome word from the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord and God bless you. Welcome to the broadcast today. I'm Dr. Beth Tina Williams and I'm here with my husband, Apostle Dr. Stanley Williams. And it is always a joy and a privilege to be able to minister to you. We are here today and God has blessed us to be ministering on Jesus Christ, the greatest emancipator, liberator, and freedom fighter in history. And we've been ministering on the meaning of liberty, the meaning of freedom and emancipation. Before we go into today's teaching, we just want to open up in a word of prayer on today, but I want to encourage you to get ready to receive a life-changing word from the Lord on today. Apostle, will you open us up in prayer? Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for the grace, the mercy, and the goodness that you have bestowed upon us. And I thank you, Lord, that, that you will give us rest. You are giving us rest. And that we will live lives of peace with the Lord's blessing mightily upon us. God, every single day, we honor you. We praise and magnify you. And we believe that you alone are Lord. Amen. Amen. To God be all the glory. Well, we're excited about the word of God because it's the word of God that gives us freedom, healing, deliverance, liberty, peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And I just want to encourage you to get ready to receive the word of God into your spirit in your heart, in your life. We just want to begin, Apostle, with sharing in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. We're talking about the need for rest. We're talking about walking with God and abiding in Him, walking in the rest of God, the rest that He has provided to us through relationship with Him yes. and relationship with His Holy Spirit. You know, yes. The Bible lets us know in the Message Bible, it reads like this. Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you will recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Yes. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the enforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me. You hear that? Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Apostle, can you read that from the King James Version of the Bible out of Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through the 30? The Bible says, come unto me, yes. all of you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you yes. rest. Yes. Now, when you look at this in the proper context, mm -hmm. there will be a yoke. Mm -hmm. But the Bible gives the indication that Jesus' yoke is light mm -hmm. and it's easy, mm -hmm. well fitted. But there is a yoke of bondage. Mm -hmm. And that yoke, is heavy, mm -hmm. it's uncomfortable, and what it does is it weighs you down. Yes, yes. Now, I want to read the same passage from the, the, the Passion Translation because I want to identify with what my mm -hmm. wife said. Listen, this is what it says. Are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? Mm -hmm. Then come to me, and I will refresh your life. Mm -hmm. For I am an oasis. Simply join your life to mine. Mm -hmm. Learn my ways 
and you'll discover that I'm gentle, yes, humble, easy to please. Mm -hmm. You'll find refreshment and rest in me for all that I require of you will be pleasant and mm -hmm. easy to bear. Now, when you contrast that with Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, mm -hmm. it says this, stand, fa stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free. Mm -hmm. That's the easy yoke. Yes. And be not entangled again yes. with the yoke of bondage. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're free from the yoke of bondage. And you've taken on the ease, the refreshing, the lightness, and the blessing of the yoke that Jesus puts on you yes. to guide you, to direct you, and to make sure that you maximize yes. his blessings yes. in your life. Amen. Amen. And you know, we originally began with sharing and ministering concerning freedom. And that's what we're talking about today. I want to just bring that in to what we're sharing with you on today. And freedom means liberty. Mm -hmm. Freedom is talking about liberation, release, emancipation. It's speaking of amnesty, pardoning. It's yes. speaking of dis charge, yeah. non-confinement, and the opposite of freedom is captivity. So yes. Jesus is saying, come unto me. Yes. He's saying, come unto me, all ye that labor and are of heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It says, praise the Lord. It says it like this, and I want to read it even more in its fullness from the King James Version. He said, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What does that mean? Let's talk about what that means, glory to God, that his yoke is easy, his burden is light. Who is it talking to as far as those that are, that are burdened down? He's saying, he's saying, I want you to walk with me. He's saying, I want you to build your relationship with me as you journey through life. Why? Because when we talk about a yoke, a yoke is an instrument where a farmer would put two oxen or two cattle together. One usually would be the stronger or one would usually be the older, more mature cattle. And with the younger cattle, he would put them together under a yoke so that the older, the older ox or the older cattle could train the younger cattle how to, how to plow and be more productive and be more fruitful in their ability to plow the land and plow the ground. And so the farmer would receive a crop that's more productive because of the maturity and the yoking of the oxen together. And Jesus is telling us, He's saying to everybody that is weary, that is looking at your life and you're saying to yourself, my life doesn't reflect what I believe and truly feel and believe in my heart. It could reflect. You may be discouraged. You may be disillusioned. You may be feeling like giving up. But Jesus is saying, try me. Come with me. Come and connect with me, unite with me, and walk with me, and let me show you how. Let me teach you my ways. And the Lord is speaking to people, and he's saying, you feel burdened? He said, but I will give you rest. And when you walk with the Lord, he will teach you, he will show you, he will lead you, he will guide you. And then the Bible lets us know, praise God, that uh, he will give you rest for your soul. That means, that's telling us that Jesus' way is not one that is burdensome, one that is heavy, one that is hard. You've been living and doing things and it's hard. 
you've been looking and saying, it's not working out the way I dreamed. It's not happening the way I envisioned. It seems hard. It seems difficult, almost impossible at times. Jesus is saying, if you come to me, you see you're weary. You see you did get, get discouraged. He's saying, come to me. And he said, I will give you a light yoke and a light burden because I will give you my presence, my spirit, my wisdom, and I will lead you and I will guide you and I will teach you and I will train you. I will help you. He will lead and guide us into all truth so that our lives, your life will be more productive, more fruitful. It'll be less draining on you. See, when Jesus told us to come unto him and to take his yoke upon us and learn of him, and he said, and you'll find rest for your souls. It doesn't mean that we don't work or we don't, uh, we, we just sleep all day or we go on vacation and never come off of a vacation. No, it's saying Christ wants for us to choose him so that we can walk this journey of life together. How many people in the world are needlessly under a heavy yoke and a heavy burden and feel down and discouraged and overburdened and you, you feel like, wow, my life is, has not become anything like I originally dreamed, envisioned, or intended it to be. It's time to go back to the source of your resource to return to the Father, the one who made you, return to, to uh, the one who gave you life, return to your creator and let him guide you and minister in your life and you will find fulfillment and you'll find peace and you'll find that you are actually walking in the best path and receiving optimal results in your life, apostle. You know, in the, in, that is the, the essence of rest. Yes. Being able to walk in relationship with God is freedom from bondage. Yes. So now if you look at this from the context of the first century church, yes. you can see mm -hmm. what was happening in that picture, mm -hmm. then bring it forward. Yes. Because this is not about legalism. Yes. It's not about, you know, following a bunch of rules. That's this right. is about relationship. And the first century church was dealing with the, the mosaic law mm -hmm. and it, the bondage yes. that it brought people into. Now, if you look at Acts chapter 15, starting at the seventh mm -hmm. verse, this is what you see. And when they had, when they had been much disputing, when they had argued for mm -hmm. quite a while, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye know how that a good while ago God made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel. Yes. And believe. Mm -hmm. And God, which knoweth the heart, bears witness, or bears them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did us, mm -hmm. and put no difference between us and them purifying their hearts by faith. Now, here's the, here's the key. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, yes. why tempt ye God to put a yoke mm -hmm. on the neck of the disciples, yes. which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? Mm -hmm. In other words, anything heavy, Amen. anything burdensome, yes. anything troubling, that's yoking you, mm -hmm. anything that is not easy to bear, mm -hmm. anything that does not fit well, yes. Jesus wants to remove it. Mm -hmm. And he wants to replace it with his yoke, mm -hmm. which is easy mm -hmm. to bear. Yes. Now, yes. the yoke's purpose mm -hmm. is to make sure that the field is plowed straight. 
I trust that you're being mightily blessed by the golden nuggets of wisdom that are being shared through the broadcast today. Stay connected with Apostle and I through our social media pages and also through our ministry website. Be sure to share your prayer requests and testimonies as we pray for you daily and also sow in the ministry as God has blessed you. By all means, subscribe to our brand new YouTube channel. Click the bell and the subscribe button. May God bless you. The yoke is for guidance. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus wants to guide us, to lead us. But his guidance is not a terrifying guidance. That's right. It's not a heavy guidance. It's not an overburdensome guidance. Yes. But it's a it is a leading into the peace of God. It reminds me of the 23rd yeah. Psalm. He leads me mm -hmm. beside still and restful waters. Yes. He, he's guiding me into green pastures. Yes. He's restoring my soul. He is my yes. refreshing. Mm -hmm. He is mm -hmm. the beauty yes. that replaces the ashes. Yes. He is my God. Yes. And we all have different vocations, different uh, walks in life, different enterprises and businesses, business dealings and affairs. We all have a different direction, trajectory in life. But yes. Jesus, he said, I'm come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am meek and lowly of heart. He said, if you come to me, you'll find rest for your souls. That is refreshing. And so because we all have different paths in life, we have different experiences, different vocations, different missions, visions, enterprises, uh, business affairs, jobs, if you will, uh, work that we do. Jesus wants for you to partner with him. He wants for you to walk with him. And as Apostle said, because he wants to show you how to do it and do it well, how to live a spirit-led life, one of victory, one of blessing, one of peace, one of favor, one that is life-giving and fruitful. Yes, You're indeed. saying, I've been doing it on my own. I've been trying the best I know how. I've been, I've been implementing and employing everything I trained and learned how to do, and it's still not working out quite right. Have you prayed today? Have you acknowledged the Lord? Have you sought God and asked him, Father, I need you. Father, I want you to live in me. I want for you to guide me. Father, I want for you to help me. And if you pray that prayer and ask God, being honest from the sincerity and the depth of your heart to say, Father God, I realize that I don't have it. You may be well educated, you may have been trained, you may have certifications, you may have degrees, and you're still finding that you're working too hard, you're overworking, you never get rest, your mind is not at peace, you're struggling with your life, you're struggling to get ahead, you're struggling to make ends meet, you're struggling to, to see everything come to fruition, and everything come together. You're trying to make it come together and you're working as hard as you know. You're doing everything you know to do and you still can't bring it together quite right. Your answer today is in him. Your answer is in God. Your answer is receiving Jesus Christ in your heart. Your answer is acknowledging him. Your answer is to say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I yield. I'm taking off this heavy yoke. I'm taking off and removing this yoke of burden. I'm, yes. I'm removing this, this yoke of bondage so that I can walk in freedom and liberty, so I can be released, so I can breathe, so you can inhale and exhale. And when you do that and you take Jesus on and you receive him and you begin to acknowledge him properly because there are people who are believers and you've received Christ already, but you haven't been honoring him.
to the depth and degree that you ought to. You haven't been acknowledging him through prayer. You haven't, you've been prayerless. It's time to come back to God. It's yeah. time to say, Father, I'm sorry. I haven't been doing as I ought to do. See, freedom is not a liberty to do any old thing, to sin, to commit a crime, but freedom is the ability to do as you ought to do. And he came to give us freedom and liberty so that we can have God-given boundaries that are easy, that are light, and all he said is follow me. All he said is take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly of heart. He said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light, so you'll find rest for your souls. See, God wants to make you a custom-fitted yoke. He wants to make you a yoke that's tailor-made for you. Why? Because he designed you. The Bible tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. He designed you with purpose in mind. He designed you for, 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 for certain direction. He designed you, he wired you for what he called and chose you to do. And you have to go back to the master designer. You have to go back to the one who created you. You have to go back to the manufacturer and you've got to take on his heart. Read his word. Read and receive from him. Meditate on his word. Talk to him daily. Just like a married couple or someone who's dating, you love to talk. You love to communicate with each other. Talk to your father in heaven. Talk to him and ask him, Father, I need you. I want you. Guide me. And when you talk, to, I promise you, when you talk to God every day yes. and you commune and communicate with him, he will talk back to you. He will walk with you. He will go to work with you. He will be the best business partner you've ever known or seen. He is the best guru. He is the, he is the, the, the most high God. And there's nobody like him. Nobody surpasses him. Nobody can do it better than him. And with him on your side, the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Since God is for you, who can be against you? I dare you to partner with him. I dare you to take on his yoke. It's not religious. It's not burdensome. It's a relationship and it's light. Apostle? You know, when you start looking at the concept of anxiety, yes. fret, yes. fear, yes. weights, mm -hmm. things that weigh you down, mm -hmm. yes. that, that take away your clarity, your ability to, to, to walk free. Yes. You know, I always tell the people I mentor that you have your best ideas, you'll be That's at right. your absolute best mm -hmm. when you're at rest. That's right. Now, Philippians chapter 4, mm -hmm. verses 6 and 7, this is the clearest exposition of rest. Mm -hmm. Don't be anxious. Yes, sir. Amen. Be anxious for nothing. That's what the King James says. Mm -hmm. Don't be anxious about anything. But in everything, mm -hmm. by prayer and supplication and giving of thanks, yes. let your request be known unto God. Yes. And the peace of God, mm -hmm. which surpasses understanding. Now, that is deep. Yes, sir. You cannot even figure out the depth of this peace. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing peace. It's a peace that the world didn't give you. And it's also a peace that the world can't take away. Yes. No matter what's happening in the yes. world, whether it's coronavirus or anything else, the mm -hmm. peace of God remains for those that are in deep relationship yeah. with him. And it says that this peace will stand as a guard mm -hmm. at the door of your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Yeah. It's an amazing peace. It's beautiful. It's a peace yeah. that passes or surpasses mm -hmm. understanding. In other words, there is no way you can exhaust yes. this peace. Amen. His yoke is easy 
I'm going to say that one more <laughs> time. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. He's meek and lowly of heart. God is a good God. He's a loving father. He's a faithful father. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will stay with you and be with you for the long haul, for the rest of the journey, for the rest of your life. And all you have to do is say, Father God, yes. I ask you to come yeah. into my heart. I give you my life I you and my I life. want you to lead me. I want to you to guide me. To guide you. I surrender all. I surrender. It's time to say it and mean it and say, yes, Father, Lord. I cast all my I cares on you. All my cares for you on care for me. You care for me. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I cast it all. I cast it all on you. On you. Father, I'm here to live for you. Mm. I want to walk with you. I want to talk with you. And I want to hear your voice. Yes, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. Yes, Lord. Guide me. Give me your ideas. Hallelujah. Give me your thoughts. Yes, Lord. Help me to do things your way. Help me to live a life of integrity. Help me to live a life that's filled with wisdom. Help me to live a life that is fruitful and productive. Let me see the fruit of my labor. Let me see the manifestation of your goodness, of your blessing you on my life. That you'll be blessed mm. in the city, blessed, blessed in the yes. field, blessed, blessed in relationships, blessed in finances, blessed in your blessed. body and your health. Blessed. And as Apostle said, yes. you'll have peace of mind. It, it, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. There's nothing Hallelujah. like God. There's nobody like him. There's nothing like his peace. There's nothing like what God does in a life that's been changed. Yes. Oh, my God, if I ever shared Anything with you that I believe with all my heart would make the greatest difference and bring you ultimate and optimum results is Jesus Christ. It's to receive him in your heart, to give your whole soul, mind, your whole being to him yes. and walk with him Hallelujah. and talk with him and have a real relationship with him every day. Watch God do what you cannot do for yourself. He's everything you need. Apostle? There is a Sabbath rest yes. that remains for God's people. Just walk in or enter into that rest and watch God yes. begin to not only speak to your heart and give you divine guidance that you didn't have before, but watch God yes. allow you to lay down in, in peace and sleep and awake in safety. Amen. We want to thank you for being a part of our Empowering People International family. You have blessed us and we love you in Jesus Christ. It is our desire that the Word of God continue to be a blessing in your life. Please stay connected with Apostle and I through our social media websites as well as our ministry website. Share your prayer requests and testimony with us and sow a seed financially as God empowers and blesses you to do. We love you. God bless you.